Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So with advancement in technology, AI is becoming part of our life with every passing day. We are using AI particularly for writing stuff and uh, let's be honest, we are using it to draft a lot of writing content for writing emails, for writing proposals, uh, even for a lot of scientific writing we are using AI now. And there are a lot of AI tools which are available. But how many of us can trust AI completely to write uh, our thesis which particularly goes for a plagiarism check which particularly goes for AI check under softwares like Turnitin. So today I'm bringing a AI tool called as Humbot which can humanize your AI content and that can bypass all these AI checkers okay so that's interesting thing and I just wanted to share with you so if you are using AI to write your stuff or just to copy paste the things from AI instead of that you can use Humbot to humanize your content and then you can use it for more uh, like in a refined way although completely copying and pasting is something which I will not encourage always try to include your thoughts but in order to frame your content properly you can take help of AI and in that way you can again humanize it using Humbot. So let me take you to my computer screen and let me show you how you can use Humbot to properly convert your AI based robotic kind of content into more human way. And we will try to solve it or we will try to check it using different AI checkers and see what the results are. So let's go to my computer screen. now. All right, so this is the interface of Humbot.ai. Uh, you can directly come up over here using the link given in the description you can you have to log in using your email address and all so once you log in this is how you are going to see it you can see there are different options over here like humanize ai then ai checker then plagiarism checkup we'll try to look upon all of these one by one okay so the most interesting part of it is the humanize part and the plagiarism checker so we'll try to do we'll try to use both of them uh, let's first of all understand or let's first of all try to get some content from some other AI tool okay so for that sake I'm gonna use Hicks AI okay so I'm going to use Hicks AI to generate my content this is a AI tool which basically gives you access to a lot of AI platforms like uh, GPT 0 0.3 uh, or uh, GPT 01 or basically DeepSeek R1 so I'm going to use DeepSeek R1 because that's free for me. You can use any AI tool for it. You can even use uh, like uh, ChatGPT for it, right? So I'm going to use DeepSeek over here. So let me ask a question. Uh, let me ask a scientific question, just a general thing, which let's say you are writing a proposal or you're writing some stuff related to climate change on agriculture. So let's ask a question that uh, what are impact of climate change? change on agriculture okay uh, and we'll hit enter and it takes some time and thinks about it and then it generates the result for us so let's wait for some time let deep seek think for some time it says it's thinking whatever it's thinking and that is also written over here but the content is from here okay so this white section is your content climate change profoundly impacts agriculture threatening global food security and so on so the effects are on temperature change, water availability, carbon dioxide effects and all those things are mentioned. It's still generating. So it is going to generate a kind of uh, uh, like a kind of article for us. So let's just copy this whole thing. So that means this is what we have got from AI. We are going to test how much AI percentage we are going to get based on this content on uh, AI detecting tool. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use zero GPT first of all. So this is a website called zero GPT. This also tries to detect like this is the website used generally to detect how much AI percentage content you have in your content. So I'm going to paste whatever we have generated in uh, the deep seek AI and I'm going to say detect text. So it is going to take some time and then it is going to give us a idea that how much AI it is. So it says that it is 99.4 percent is of AI GPT so that means this content is almost it is telling us that it's complete the whole thing is AI so this is how generally people detect your content okay that whatever you have written is actually AI now we are going to cross check it using another platform which is more used platform which is Quillbot 
so let's go on that okay so this is another very useful tool called as quill bot there are various different sections of it but we will focus on ai detector tool of it you just have to paste your content and it can tell you or it can basically and you have to press this detect ai and it will give you that how much percentage ai it is so see it says it is 100 percent text is likely to be ai and it also gives a detailed in, like data about it that how much is ai how much is human written so it detects completely that it is ai written now is where we are going to see the difference okay we are going to paste our data our content which ai has generated and we will paste it on humbot and see if we can humanize it or not or see how much ai percentage we can decrease okay so let's go for that this is the humbot page to humanize the content now you will see that this is the place where i can paste my content i'm going to paste it here and i will press this humanize it will take some time it will check it on different platforms and it will humanize our content and that will show up on the right side so i'm going to wait for some time it says that it is humanizing now it is checking for it and it has humanized that's what it says and it also checks for us okay it checks us based upon different platforms so this is our humanized version of the same thing now if you see the content is same uh, even the topics are same but it has just converted into a more humanized form so let's copy it and see how humanized it is okay so i have just copied it i'm now going to check this on again back and cross check it on zero gpt so let's go to zero gpt now so this is the old result you remember it was 99 percent uh, ai for the content we just copied and pasted from the deep seek now i have just uh, like converted or humanized it i am going to paste this we'll press detect ai and see how much percentage ai it comes up so you can see it's a huge difference earlier it was 99 point some percentage and now it is 16.55 percent gpt so that means our text has like almost 86 uh, sorry 84 percent of human written right and it says that your text is human written and this much percentage is ai and it also highlights the section which looks like ai written so that if you want manually you can do that or we, you can correct them i'm not going to do it again i'm going to just check it once again using another uh, like ai checker which we were looking upon which is quillbot so i'm just going to paste the same content on quillbot and see how much ai percentage it gives us so this is the old data you see that it, earlier it was 100 percent ai now i'm going to just delete everything and i'm going to paste our current data and i'm going to ask it now you can see that quillbot is telling us that it's 14 percent ai so it says that it is 14 percent ai generated and it is 86 percent human written so that means that humbot was able to uh, humanize the content which was earlier 100 percent to 86 percent which is a huge uh, difference right so you can use this to uh, like cross check or whenever you are generating some content using ai just use a, a like humbot as a additional filter you can take your content to humbot put it over there and you can humanize it i would like to again give a very important disclaimer that uh, we do not encourage just writing using ai copying and pasting using ai try to use your own words try to use your own things but where when it is very necessary or it is very important to include ai in that case you can use these tools to make your work easier okay the next uh, like tool which i am going to show you is about plagiarism checker now when we are writing thesis plagiarism is something which we are always uh, like concerned about that how much content or what uh, whether our thesis or whether our writing is going in plagiarism how much percentage plagiarism is there and every university has its own relaxation for plagiarism certain universities have not more than five percent plagiarism certain has ten percent so basically your plagiarism should be less than that so for that i'm going to take a content from a, a article and let me check that how good this plagiarism checker is okay all right so i have taken a uh, article from this uh, bio web of conferences the title is green chemistry and catalysis emerging sustainable approach in synthetic chemistry and uh, i am going to copy the introduction part of it okay so let me just copy the introduction part 
of this article let me just copy because this is already published thing so i am expecting that the plagiarism check should uh, cite this particular article so let me show that or let's look upon this okay so what you have to do is simply copy uh, like copy your content and you have to place it here and then try to check it so now it says that your 41 percent uh data is plagiarized uh, like is plagiarized and where it is it has found the same article you can see green chemistry and catalysis the same article and the pdf of the same article so basically this is so good that it has went through the internet tried to find out uh, the content which is available and uh, like checked how much it is resembling with that all right so you can use this to check your own like ch to check the plagiarism of your content if you want uh, one more interesting thing which we have over here is ai essay rewriter which basically rewrites essay for you so if you are writing a article or if you are writing something you can basically paste it and it will rewrite for you with a uh, with a better level so you can see there are different levels over here you if you want to enhance the level of it make it high school level undergraduate level masters or phd level sometimes when you're writing content you have content uh, up to a phd level but you want to present it to a more layman audience you want to present it to high school or to people who do not belong to that particular area of interest so for that sake your content needs to be downgraded to uh, like it needs to be you know downscaled to a wider audience so that it reaches to a wider audience and in that case you can use this to uh, go to this particular like to make the content rewrite for high school for example if i paste this content here and if i select high school and if i say rewrite so we expect that this ai essay ai rewriter is going to rewrite the same content in uh, a way that a high school pass person can understand so you can see that it has rewritten it and it also checks basically the different things about it like uh, whether it is human written or not so basically that is complementary because that website itself is humbot it always keeps on checking that the content which it provides to you does not goes in plagiarism or ai detector so you can like you can generate it for high school undergraduate masters or phd level that's up to you you can change the level also to see uh, to enhance the level of your content now again we'll do one more thing that we'll quickly check whether the content which it has rewritten uh, whether it is ai generated or not so it shows over here that it is human written but let's check it from a third party i will go to killbot i will delete the previous data and i will paste it and i will say detect ai and now it says that it is 99% human written so basically whatever essay it has rewritten it is completely human written the next interesting thing which i want to share with you is ai reading that means you can chat with pdf you can upload a pdf and you can summarize it you can ask questions related to that and uh, this is going to give you answers based upon that so in case if you if you are doing literature survey and you do not want to go through documents one by one you can basically use it so for example if i take example and upload academic paper you can basically drag and drop your own pdf file as well but i am just using a example or the sample file from here and if i click on this it is going to upload so yeah this is the document over here and this is the file which is uploaded now here you will see that there are different things there is a summary there is a mind map basically mind map means it is going to summarize the thing so that it becomes easy for you to remember so see how how it has basically made the things so what is the topic and then what is the academic paper like what are the headings then the subheadings what is mentioned under the subheadings all these three all these things are mentioned this is a nine page article and it has been summarized in a way you can even do translation you can detect a language if you want to change the language of it you can even chat with it that means you can ask questions related to this this particular pdf and it's going to give you answers related to that for example if you want to ask what is the advantages of sim registration act and it is going to give you the answer for that and it can definitely summarize the whole entire paper for you so yeah all in all this is a very useful tool especially for those who are more into writing the part and if you are looking for something that can uh, like reduce your plagiarism or basically something which you can use 
to check your plagiarism okay so you can use this particular platform you can use this even to humanize your content from ai again i'm i am giving this very important disclaimer that don't rely on whatever ai spits out all the information on ai is not always true especially when you're doing scientific writing or when you're when you're doing scientific studies always double check the data which has been spitted out or the data which has been produced uh, it's not always true what you get from there but yeah if you check all the authenticity of the data manually and then you want to humanize it you can use this particular tool for that all right so that's it from my side for this particular video i hope you guys found this interesting i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care